Sam had literally had a $10 billion account that he mislabeled with Alameda Research. Mislabeled? Yeah, he, he called it Fiat at FTX. But it was a $10 billion oh, hole. What, is, what do you mean by mislabeled? Well, it was on a spreadsheet, Joe. So he, he was on a, put it on a spreadsheet for their balance sheet, and he mislabeled the account Fiat at FTX. And so what prosecutors are now arguing is he knew, of course, what it was. He deliberately uh, obscured what that was to hide it from people who were trying to take a look at his books. But it's just that's what I mean by black box. You never know what games these guys are playing. Like they say, oh, here's sort of like – the rough estimate of our balances. But oops, did I tell you about this $10 billion account? Like, I forgot. <laughs> it's so silly. It's yeah. You find out, like, there were just no adults in that room, and, like, the few adults that there were were, like, you know, they had, like, a criminal lawyer. Uh, well, anyway, I, I don't think he's actually been convicted of anything. I shouldn't say that. They had this guy, Dan shady. Friedberg. Shady, shady. This guy, Allegedly Dan, shady. Dan Friedberg. No, he's definitely shady. <laughs> I'll say that. This what, guy. What was his? I remember, but what was his? His his, his whole thing was he he did this thing with Ultimate Bet. So he was uh, one of the lawyers. So there's this poker site called Ultimate Bet, and he got caught in this scandal where they had enabled this thing called God Mode on Ultimate Bet, where the. <laughs> The CEO could see everybody's hands and play on the site, seeing everybody's hands. So he just – he cleaned up on all his own – like his own uh, customers, just basically taking their money. Like, oh, I know exactly when to fold. I know exactly when to bet. So he had God mode enabled, and then they found out. Somebody found out about this God mode. And so the lawyer's like, how do we basically cover this up? Dan Friedberg's like, how do we – you know, uh, you know, what do you want me to do? And he's like, hey, just make this problem go away. This is the CEO, like, go blame it on somebody else. Go blame it on some, like, you know, third party that got access to our, our website. Say it was like a glitch or something. And so that that is the experience of the lawyer that FTX then hires is like being complicit on a private call, leaked private call, trying to cover up this God mode scam. That is his background. And so I asked, you know, Sam, I was like, you know, what does it say if this is your chief regulatory officer, this guy who enabled God or who, who helped cover up God mode. And he's like, well, I don't want to comment on other, you know, people or it's just like, it, well, how does he skate on that? Like how, how does a guy like that not wind up getting indicted? I ask myself that every day. <laughs> There's so many, so many. Is it of a matter of time or is it he's gotten away with it? So many of these scams are like, these issues of either regulators not having time, not having the resources, not having sort of like it's maybe not big enough. Um, you know, they're good people, a lot of the people going after these guys, but it's like it's like trying to catch everyone who's speeding. You know what I mean? Right. It's like people get away with it. It's just there's right. too many people doing it. And you'll catch some people, but ultimately a lot of people will just basically skate by even though by all rights they should have been – you know, caught. In my view, what he did was criminal. That's why I started. But it is, it hasn't been prosecuted or anything like that. Um, but he's on a leaked private call. Everyone can go listen to it yourself. It's just this shocking thing. And, and I think that shows, like, if you're running a shady empire, like, who's better than a shady lawyer to try to help you cover it up, right? 